I welcome you to elective maths class. In senior high school, we have two forms of mathematics. The first one is called general mathematics, what we usually call core mathematics. In fact, core mathematics is meant for every student who goes through the secondary education. It's a general mathematics that prepares you to do everyday transactions. And that is why everybody is required to do it. Then we also have elective mathematics. Elective mathematics is meant for students who are do, doing certain programs and that can help them to achieve their career in the universities, in the polytechnics or the technical universities, and then in the nursing training college or any other tertiary institution where you want to pursue your career. So elective mathematics is meant for some selected students. And I believe that by the time we finish elective mathematics, you'll be equipped so much to be able to have the applications, the concept, and the knowledge to prepare you to do whatever program you aspire to do in the university or any tertiary institution. The first topic we are going to look at on the elective mathematics is called algebraic expressions. Algebraic expressions. Now let me ask you class, have you been sent from the home to go to the store or any shop at all to buy something? Okay, so let's assume that your parents sent you to a shop to go and buy, let's say, three things of mark. But as you were going, you didn't know the price of a tin of mark, but you were going to buy three. So it means that you need to know the unit price of a tin of mark, okay, so that you can multiply that one by three, or you can add that one three times. Now we know that if a tin of mark is two cities, and you are going to buy three, and it means that you're going to have So you're going to have 2 plus 2 plus 2. And that's going to give you 6 Ghana cities, right? What about if you didn't know the price, the unit price of a tin of mark? What will you do? And that is what people always don't uh, agree with mathematicians. So all that will do is that I'll pick any letter at all, any alphabet from A to Z, and use it to represent the cost of a tin of mark. In that case, I'm going to have, I'm going to have x plus x plus x. Now, when I add this, there is a number here, which is 1, a number here, which is 1, a number here, and that is 1. So this is going to give me, because 1x plus 1x plus 1x is going to give us what? 3x. So in the same vein, if you now get to know that the unit price of a tin of mark is 2, what you do is that this x here is going, going to be replaced by 2. So I'm going to have as the same sex you had here, right? Good. Now, this idea, this concept, leads me to the topic called algebraic expressions. What is algebraic expressions? It's any mathematical sentence that involves letters. 
and numbers. Algebraic expression is any mathematical sentence that involves letters and numbers. Now, in mathematics, letters that we use are called variables. They are called what? Variables. So, the number sentence I've written here, 3x, this is an algebraic expression because it involves numbers and letters or numbers and variables. So, this simple thing here is an algebraic expression. So, let's formulate an algebraic expression again. So, the two of you, if I ask you that, John, you are three years older than Martin. So, I'm talking about John and Martin, right? John and Martin. So, John, you are three years older than Martin. So, you know, obviously, if I know John's age, I can know Martin's age, right? What about if I don't know my, uh, John's age? That is mathematics. All that we need to do is to pick any letter at all from A to Z to represent John's age. Okay? Good. So if I know John's age, let's say X. Okay? Then I can easily find Martin's age, right? So the question is that, so let me create a question here. Okay. Okay, so I create a question here. Martin is three years older than John. Find the sum of their ages. Martin is three years older than John. What does it mean? It means that these are the two characters here. Because Martin is older than John, the first thing I need to do is to find John's age. If I know John's age, I can easily know Martin's age. So in mathematics, what we do is that because you don't have the actual number representing John's age, you pick a letter to represent the age of John. So any letter at all. And people always ask, why are we always using X and Y? So now I'm not going to use X and Y. Let me use A, a letter A. Okay, so I'm using A So I say let A equals to John's age. Now if John's age is the letter A, then what will be Martin's age? Now Martin's age is going to give you Then Martin's age is going to give you A plus 3. Is that clear? But this is a simple sentence. Martin is 3 years older than John. Find the sum of their ages. We now know John's age as A. Martin's age as what? A plus 3. So if I want to find the sum, then I'm going to have... A plus A plus 3. And then this is A, this is A, these are the, of the same letters, right? Okay, so it's like you have an orange here, another orange here. I can put these two oranges together and put them in a basket. I have how many? Two oranges. Okay, so I have A here, I have A here. If I put them together, I'm going to have what? 2A. And that is what I just said here. So this A you see here is actually 1A. This is also 1A. So 1 plus 1 is 2. And that is just going to give you 2a plus 3. Good. What I have here is an algebraic expression. This is called a normal sentence. It's also an algebraic expression. Why? 
Because this expression I have here contains numbers and letters, period. Now, in learning algebraic expression, there are some few things that you need to come with. You need to know. One of them is to how to add variables. And that's what we are just expressing here. So you need to know how to add variables. And I know that in JSS, you learned how to add variables. That is simplify basic algebraic expressions. You also need to know how to multiply. For example, 2 times 3, you should be able to know that, yeah, 2 times 3 is 6. So you should have an idea of multiplication, both for numbers and variables. Number three, you need to have an idea about powers of numbers. Powers of numbers. And these are always, you did all these things in junior high school, right? So if I've forgotten, we are going to do that. Don't worry. Then you also need to have some idea about distributive property. Distributive property. These are some of the things that you need to have in mind before you be comfortable in doing algebraic expressions. Okay? Good. So we now know what an algebraic expression is, right? It's any mathematical sentence that involves numbers and letters. So the example that we did here concerning John and Martin, we had 2a plus 3. 2 and 3 are numbers. And then a is a letter. So that expression there is called an algebraic expression. Okay? Good. So let me just take you through simply a very simple thing, how to simplify some algebraic expressions. So let me say that I've written I have this, a very simple thing. When I say simplify this, if I say simplify this, all I'm trying to say is that put expressions of the same kind together. Put expressions of the same kind together. So I have 3b plus 4c minus 2b plus 7c. Which of them are of the same letters? I can see this. I can see that. I can also see this and that. OK. So I'm going to rewrite this expression. I have this. This ones have the same letter on them. This one also have the same letters on them. So I can easily add this. And when I'm adding this, it's just like saying 3 minus 2. And 3 minus 2 is 1. But each of them is going with the letter B. So I'm just going to have 3 minus 2 multiplied by B. Better, sir, I can just write 1B. 3B minus 2B is 1B. Okay. Then I also have this. I have plus. 4C plus 7C. It's all in other words, you're just saying that I'm having 4 plus 7. And 4 plus 7 is 11. So that's going to give me. Okay. So it means that if I simplify this expression here, I'm going to have this. Is that right? Very simple. This is an algebraic expression. Let's also say this. Now, I'm to simplify this one here. 4Q squared plus 8Q plus 9Q squared minus 6Q. I intentionally wrote this. They are all in Q. But you see that this one here is actually Q to the power 2. This is Q to the power 1. This is Q to the power 2. Even though they are all in Q, you cannot add this and this. Why? Because this one's power is higher than this one's power. Okay? 
So there's a saying that monkeys play by sizes. So because the power of this one here is two and the power of this one here is one, you cannot just add them. No. You have to add those expressions that have the same variables on them with the same powers. So this one here, I'm just going to put those ones with k squared together and then those ones with, with k together. So I'm going to have... Okay, so these ones I would kill squared, and then these ones I would kill. Is that clear? Beautiful. So, because this is kill, kill squared, kill squared, we can just add the numbers in front. And that is 4 plus 9, that is going to give us what? 13. Okay. 13 kill squared. Then we have 8 kill minus 6 kill. It's just like saying 8 minus 6. And then 8 minus 6 will give us what? 2. Positive. Beautiful. So if I simplify this expression here, I'm going to get 13 q squared plus 2 q. You cannot add this to this. Why? Because this one here has a power of 2, and this one here has a power of what? 1. You can't add it. Is that clear? Good. So these are some of the things I'm sure you have done in Cormat. Okay? Good.